welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're starting the conversation talking about Bonnie Boy and all other entertainers in the entertainment industry, as well as their use of social media. I am not alone. I am joined by Wemimo Adeuni of 99.3 Nigeria Info. Hey. At this point, I should be saying Wemimo Adeuni of 99.3 Nigeria Info and Hello Nigeria. Love is small. Say title. <laughs> it's good to Sounds have really you. Sounds really good. Thank you. How's your day? Oh, well, it was good. It was good. Well, okay. Really good. I'm, I'm, well, we're going to be talking about social media and all the drama that goes on, mm. celebrities and the use of social media. We've seen a lot of celebrities stepping out of line, saying things that they should not say, forgetting the fact that they are public figures. But yeah. then again, we understand that it's, uh, it's a bit of they're an arduous task. Yeah. Yes, they are humans and they're allowed to sleep every once in a while. Mm. I mean, bef as I suggest today, the one of Bishop Ime, maybe I should ask you that before we go into our conversation. How, how did that make you feel when he said that... Um, prostitutes being raped is not that, raped. That, 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 is that is a silly... If, if it was meant as a joke, that's the silliest joke I've heard this year. There's nothing funny about it. And really, it just highlights the thoughts behind the mind. Because really, you speak out of the depth of your heart. And it didn't look to me like he was joking. Oh, he's gone that, ahead to do an explanation video. And the explanation video was nothing different from the earlier I video. mean, it was crass. I, I, I watched it and I'm like, what are you even talking about? I mean... When you defile a person, you defile a person. No equals to no. When a woman or a man, because men are also sexually abused, says no, I don't want to have sexual relationship with you, it's a no. You can't say, oh, she suggested or he suggested. If he says no, you have to stop. And you can't say if you rape. Are you saying that rape is justifiable under certain circumstances? In he a, he in came a, out to say that he's not, he's not justifying it. But at the end of the day, what, what was it justifying? Like that, just take back the progress made against the fight um, for yes. the fight against rape. You know, it takes us a few steps backwards. I remember he did mention that, well, he's just uh, talking down at commercial sex workers because they don't have any self pride self and dignity. And dignity. What do you even mean? What do you even mean? And even people who are soliciting for, for sex from these people come on social media to spill trash as well. I remember that. Although prostitution is uh, illegal in Nigeria, it takes two to make a transaction. Exactly. And point. it is not prostitution until there is a cash transaction on sex, which means it takes a buyer and a seller. It takes two. I don't understand the attack on women. How about the men who patronize them? Why in, are they not arrested? Crimes, what we see is that soliciting is also a crime. It so is. You, the person that is patronizing them, you are also you're in trouble. In fact, soliciting it, you should be arrested at the moment before the person even agrees. It's like offering bribe. So yes. The, the fact that you offered, you could be arrested even though the other person declines. So how many men have been arrested? It's just a lot of hypocrisy all over the place. Misogyny. Okay, um, speaking about celebs and their inappropriate use of social media, the conversation we just started with is, or the example we just started with is Ime Bishop, a.k.a. Okun. And now we're moving over to Burner Boy. And mm. Burner Boy has said that he's leaving social media. Now, in recent time, Burner Boy, Boy had come under fire for a few of the things he had said. He made mention of the fact that celebrities, all these stars, or all these people going to international record label deals, I pity for them because they are going into a trap and all that. And this, he said this at the... Don't we know who he's talking to? Well, he says he wasn't shedding anybody. <laughs> he wasn't throwing subs at anybody. Uh, but that was the time... The Tiwa owner had just, of the sub will carry the exactly. sub. Exactly. That was the time that Tiwa <laughs> had just gotten signed. Yes. He also made reference to the fact that views on YouTube or number of streams on YouTube does not equate success. And if songs like wow. the Bishop do 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 and the um, <laughs> Gangnam Style can have a lot of traction, then... If your song does well, you shouldn't be too excited, excited uh, because that's not a test. Bro, if so your song now, is not doing well, just face it. I mean. But we know that Burner Boy, it's been a good year yeah. for Burner Boy. You know, 2018 was the year of the burner. Mm. However, mm. it just seems that he's been a little too, too bold lately. So uh, him coming out to announce, you know, he put out a post on Instagram where he said that he'll be leaving um, management, he'll be leaving over his Instagram for his management, stating that, you know, his, his social media would now just be about his music and all that he's doing. I'll just read it out what exactly he said. He said, and I quote, I'm leaving all social media platforms permanently. They are now all strictly for my show dates and new music. My new social, my social media will now be in the full control of my management. Love and positivity to all. Do you think that this is a step in the right direction? When they put this out, somebody commented, that, ah, better for you, do and leave before you use your mouth to ruin your career. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so not nice. <laughs> do you but think really, that is a great move? So it's a, it's a, it's a two-way thing. Just uh, some days ago, Tony Abraham also put up a post to say, oh, 
two people manage my account. I manage sometimes, and I have a PR agency that also manages, and some media handlers. So it's two-way things. You, you, should ha you might want to have your personality on social media, or you want to have your brand on social media. Many times we make this up, and sometimes the mix-up is good, because people want to see your personality, what you do beyond your profession, your music, your acting. They want to see what life. Mercy Johnson is all over the place with her family, and people love it. And she's then drawing attraction to other things she's selling. So it's working well for her. But for some other people, and I'm afraid in these days when we're talking about depression, when you find artists or you know, celebrities lashing out unnecessarily, there might be something going on with them. The only way they know how to express this is by lashing out at others. Unfortunately, we have a lot of social media friends, online presence, a lot of followers that do not amount to physical friendships. Many of them do not have friends in the real sense of it. So when they lash out at their follower, I read some comments, I'm like, oh, well, what's going on? Well, don't you think on? that that lashing out bit, I totally understand where you're coming mm -hmm. from, but there's a part of it that is um, that springs out of the the need to want to clap back. So there's a, a, a sarcasm now plays a role. They call it, they say, oh, savage. savage. You're being savage. So when you give a clap back that is really nice, someone does a screenshot and the blogs carries it, and they say something like, I think they, they, they even have a handle boy, savage, savage responses. Yeah, savage responses. <laughs> to say, burner boy treats fan, you know, uh, places fan where he ought to be mm -hmm. among the dirt. So and you everybody have to, be like, oh, nice, clap. Okay. So we're seeing a lot mm -hmm. of that, which is why I must applaud Damilola Adebite. She earned my respect a, a while, I think a week ago, about a week ago, when a troll went and commented on her page, that she, she, she had put a post about herself saying that she's so beautiful mm -hmm. and that her next husband has, because she's divorced, but that her next husband has to be ready. The bride price is going to be plenty. And someone mm -hmm. went and commented that she should go and fix her character, that she has a problem. That's why she's not married how, and she'll never be married. Or oh, what? You know, and she responded with a Bible scripture or something, just sending more like love and light to the person. <laughs> like, like, go oh, fix wow, yourself. This is so beautiful. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it didn't even look like she was trying to clap back. It looked mm. like she genuinely was... Spreading love, because she and had herself put together. So when you see people lashing out, let's talk about Tonto DK. She's all over the place, you know, lashing out. And I see many people saying, oh, what's wrong with you? Something is really wrong with that. And that's how she knows to express it. She probably has no close friend that she can talk about what's going on in her mind with. That's how she knows how to express the anger and frustration she has. So moving away from social media and having real friends is very important. And for those of you who like to do savage responses, when the days where depression and suicide is alarming. On my show today, I felt almost depressed myself this morning. I talked about depression and the phone calls I got. I mean, people are tired. They're just waiting for the best opportunity to let it out. I had to call some of them, get their numbers, hand them over to people who can speak with them because it is real. So when you're going on social media, some people go there to try to hide their frustrations, see beautiful things. And Dr. DK, mm, yes, no, Laura Ikeji today yeah. on Twitter posted uh, with the hashtag <coughs> We post something like we post what we wanted to see, and she was saying our lives are not all perfect. True. We make it all look glam. We all go for you know video shoots and photo shoots and make ourselves look good, wear good clothes. But life is beyond what's on the gram. There is a real life where we cry. There's a real life where we have pain. And you're looking at the photos and you're like, oh, I oh, wish I was so like perfect. you. And she's saying, I might also want the peace of mind that you have. You don't know what's going on with me. Speaking about, you know, celebrities crying in private mm. and stunting in public, uh, there's one who's been, her struggles have been very open for us to see. And mm. one of them is Etino Saide Mudia, the comedian. We see that she's been through different phases on social yeah. media. She had come out once to open up about how she was struggling in her former marriage and how the man was threatening her. And we also saw the last struggle she went through was when she went naked on MC Galaxy's Instagram Live. Lots of people came lashing at her, but some others were sympathetic towards her. Yeah, some were you saying know. she was drunk. Yes, know. she was. She, she did seem like she was actually drunk, but she did a video, she did a, several interviews, and she owned responsibility for what she did, which I liked. She didn't try to blame it on anything, on the alcohol or anything. She mm. owned, she took responsibility, apologized for it and said, you know, I've done it, I've done it, it's time to move on. Yeah. Now, you know, lately there's another gist. As at today, she had an altercation with someone on Instagram and she made reference to the fact that the person's child was going to die. She cursed the person's child, saying that the person's child should die. No and it was no so heated that she had then gone ahead to say that if you're, you should take a screenshot of this so that when your child dies at the end of this month, you will know what? that I killed your child. What? That, you, know, you know what that's going to do? 
God help her that that child does not die. So now, exactly, God help apology her. Apology is not going to fix it. And God help her that somebody else that is trying to set her up doesn't, doesn't take advantage hurt that child of that. Because it will not look like she actually did it. See, people have issues. So... Back to this Big thing, also, you know, before it's obvious that mm. she, she's in some pain yeah. of some sort. You know, at that point, people were enraged. A screenshot was taken. Insta blog Niger posted it, and people were coming for her again. Mm. And then she did a video, a black video without an audio, you know, an audio without a video, mm. saying that she's finally leaving Instagram, just like Bonner Boy. She's leaving Instagram for her management, and that she didn't mean what she said. That she was angry, oh, no. and that she's sorry for saying that. Of course, she doesn't want to hurt his child. Mm. She doesn't want anything to happen to his child or any member of his family. Family, but she got tired, tired of being trolled because she was naked on Instagram at some point. And like the grown man came and he was coming at her for having been naked. So the thing is, oh, well, how do we, you know, how do we draw the line when, when it comes to social media use? Do we, is there any, should there be any preferential treatment given to people because they are celebrities? If it was mm. a normal man that said this thing, they would just abuse each other back yeah. and forth and they would move yeah. on. But because she's a public figure, yeah. people expect so more So I, I like that she her. took responsibility for what she did. But you must understand that when you do something, there are consequences. The trolls will go on and on because it's everywhere. Everyone saw it. I saw it. I was shocked. So she's owned up. It's fantastic. But you can't shut people up from talking. And you must remember that you don't have to respond to everything. So as a celebrity or if you're on social media, if you have yourself all put together, you can handle your social media handle uh, handles. But if you are certain that you don't have yourself put together, you I mean, you can skin. lie to everyone, you can't lie to yourself. If it's hurting you, if the comments are getting at you, I've got a, a thick skin. You could, your head could be upside down on social media. I don't care because I know it's, I mean, you, as far as I'm concerned, you're just numbers. In fact, what I do is uh, I block I ahead of time. Because I, I don't need that negativity bothered. in my life. If I come on your page and I see someone spewing trash on your page mm. and they are spewing out so much negativity and they're not even following me, yeah. I block them so that in they, future they have they're not no able chance. to see my page and come within my space. You as block much in as advance. I, I block in advance. I like so that. So I don't want that negativity. But I don't understand. There are days. So I had my moment some weeks ago. And in fact, this man came at me on Twitter and I remember telling him, Excuse me, sir, today's not a good day. This is what was how I replied to him. Don't come on my page again. I'm not having a good day and I don't want to insult you. He came back again and I had to tell him, Sir! <laughs> <laughs> and you know how you start with a sir and then you put an insulting sentence and you end with an apology. It's just like when people say, um, is it, what's that thing? There's a particular word when people say it. Just know that they're about to insult you. Um, excuse me, but I apologize, but, <laughs> but so you know that there's so something nasty if, about if to come it, behind. If you have yourself together, but many people don't understand when they're falling into depression. I see many people around me who are seriously in depression, but they don't know. On my Twitter handle today, I've been talking about depression and referring people, please, if you're going through depression, whatever stage it is, uh, it can't be treated. There's medication for depression. You can't pray it away. You can't hope it and wish it away. Better you go to a hospital. You see, that psychiatric hospital in Yaba is not for mad people there's the way an, term exactly, them. there's just an assumption that you know you have to be raving mad no whatever mad means in fact whatever i've heard that, that there's not that means, you know no. that's not a medical it's condition me no it isn't so you see people walking on the road it's because they it's did a not, mental, they were not treated. yes challenge that they have because they've not treated it it can't be treated with drugs and counseling so if you're if you know you are pray i'm not asking you not to pray do pray but the same way you take anti-malaria tablets when you have malaria but you are praying visit the hospital get counseling don't overlook these things and talk to someone about it. You can trash at people, but once you realize you can't get a hang of social media handles and you're just lashing at everybody, take a break. Very true. Like, this is not to say that, of course, that what Etinosa said was right. It wasn't right at all, but I'm glad that she's come out to apologize for what she said. Mm. And I hope that she gets really through this hope, trying yeah. time. She you know, needs she, help. She, absolutely. Yes, she did, like, a lot has been happening to yeah. her. People have been trolling her. She mm. got an, an endorsement to the hair, deal, um, hair company. And people attacked her and said, oh, you're a bad role model. How come you're getting the endorsement and the good girls people aren't? People always you know, there was, There's a lot of pressure. And yeah. I don't think she's properly internalized and dealt exactly. with what these problems are. But our thoughts and our prayers and our heart goes out to you. And even to the person that you insulted, let's hope that, <laughs> you know, because it's true. Yeah, the person would also feel nothing, hurt. Yes. Let nothing happen to the to, baby. Yeah, and to let the nothing family. happen to the family. And let nothing happen to the person and yeah. to Etinosa as well. Right. Let's just spread love, light, and positivity. Really, this life is warm. Don't be you know? savage. Don't be There's savage. There's no point. No point, exactly. Don't be and savage. And in case you are dealing with depression or you know anybody that is dealing with depression, please take down these social media handles that I'm going to call. Reach out to them. Send them a DM. They respond and they offer help and assistance. 
to people who are dealing with depression at any stage. The first one is at She Writes Women. This is specifically for women. She Writes Women, that is S-H-E-W-R-I-T-E-S -E -E and woman. One word. Or mentally aware NG. In case you didn't pick this up, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at OliveMOD and ask me. And I'll be sure to respond and give you the necessary handles. But that's all we can take for now. Thank you for joining us. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.